So according to the Newsbreak app, just had a pop up today. Russian submarines off the US coast, East Coast, spark Cold War comparisons. This is by Isabel Van Bergen, nine hours ago at Newsbreak. The growing presence of Russian submarines off the coast of the United States has sparked Cold War comparisons from military uh, observers and retired NATO admiral. The Russian military has undergone a sweeping monitorization drive after it was forced to abandon many ships following the collapse of the Soviet Union back in 1991. The Russian Navy now commands one of the most diverse submarine fleets in the world, but yet they want you to believe they're, they're losing to Ukraine. They have an estimated 58 vessels. Some of them are capable of carrying ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads, which Moscow considers key to its strategic deterrent. Uh, President Vladimir Putin has been set on expanding Russia's underwater capability over the past several years. Moscow has been producing a series of submarines that have the capability to reach the most critical targets in the US or continental Europe. The Russian leader said in December, his country would be able would be building more nuclear powered submarines that will ensure Russia's security for decades to come. Meanwhile, a Kremlin document signed by Putin in 2017, which lays out Russian's Navy's improved capabilities. It's involving strategic and operational role and its future ambitions. States that the nation must possess powerful balanced fleets in all strategic areas by 2030. They go that number 2030. I said Revelation 19 and 11 is 30. That's when Christ comes back. They're talking about they want an impressive fleet, a powerful fleet by that time. Christ knows when he comes back that the battle of Armageddon, Satan will have all of his weapons ready to fight by then. People, we are reading past this stuff and not putting two and two together. But if that's the case, we just had a Chinese spy missile crash land into Texas. And here we have Russia steadily surrounding the United States. Okay, Canada admitted to training Chinese soldiers. You've got Iran wanting the United States or Saudi Arabia to allow them to build nuclear power plants or nuclear fusion weapons to let citizens be able to operate them. A lot of stuff is going on, folks, today. This was nine hours ago. There's fleets of Russian nuclear vessels surrounding the world and the United States. Now, let me get to a scripture. Let's back this up with the word. Okay? Co-worker leaving. Joe, chapter 3. People be running out of here. Quick. <laughs> I will too after my 12 hours. I'm hitting the gas. Anyway, Joe, chapter 3. And this is one of those studies where if you went and did 3 and 3 and just picked a chapter. But let's watch this. As I, as I said months ago, we're in the Valley of Decision, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. For behold, in those days, speaking of a future time, Joe was a minor prophet. And in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, Ezekiel 38 and 14, there is a uh, suggestion or a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There is a Reminder, not a reminder. There is a reference. That's it. It's a reference. Ezekiel 38 and 14. Also, he says this, verse 2. I will also gather all the nations, comma. This is God talking, the Most High. And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. 
and parted my land. Now, this has already been going on for a long time. We know that that two-state nation, which Trump, he is not that guy. So I know a lot of people think that because he that guy has not been revealed. But the two-state nation has happened. God said, don't do that. You got Ishmael and Isaac over there fighting in the street, killing them one another in the street. Verse 3, they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Now, this valley of decision that we're in is critical. We get down to verse 9. 9 is the number of finality. You can continue to read, but we're going to uh, not forsake the time. But if you get down in here to verse 9, it says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Uh, now, let's not, let's not even be... Okay, United States has surrounded... Well, has put people in the guise of NATO on Russia's border as well. Everybody is getting in place. China getting in place to take Taiwan. You've got uh, Kim Jong-un, he firing off missiles. You've got these Middle Eastern trying to sign documents and agreements for nuclear production. Everybody's getting in position. The money system is getting in position. The digital ID is getting in position. Everybody is on their ready, set, go. On their mark, get set, go. But it won't happen until he who lets is now taken out of the way. Then that wicked shall be revealed. But right now, everybody is preparing. The heathens are preparing. Okay? Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. God says, let them draw near. Let them come up. Okay? Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Now listen, this says, get your weapons ready. What do we see now? Getting your weapons ready. Joe Biden, old and ridiculous, who is in China's pocket. China's in bed with Russia. Russia is supplying Ishmael with nuclear weapons, and, and, and so is China. Some agreement is about to be signed in Beijing, if it hasn't already, with Ishmael. And talking about the United States allowing certain things to happen for it's it's crazy man crazy verse 11 assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about there or thither cause your mighty ones to come down O lord 12 let the heathen be wakened and come up into the valley of jehoshaphat for there will i set to judge all the heathen round about. Now watch this. Verse 13. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Ladies and gentlemen, he's talking about this going to be a... Right as... Oh my goodness. Ugh. There is about to be something going... And I, and I said spiritually, I said March. And look at all this calamity. Look at all these things bubbling up in March this month. Verse 13 says, put ye the sickle in, for the harvest is ripe, the plenteous. What did God give Pharaoh the dream of? The sickle is ripe in the seven years of plenty. You got to gather up the plenteous because it cannot be known in the land of dearth or the seven years of drought. Put ye in the sickle. So we're gathering for a war. God is saying the harvest is ripe. Raptoro at the last minute. Okay. Right before war happens. Because we see in Revelation chapter 6. 
they will have the power to kill each other with the sword. That just simply means war is going to break out after the snatching. Here we have it confirmed in Joel chapter 3. This is the word of God, the living word of God. Get you down, for the press is full and the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. It's time because he said the wickedness on earth is great at this moment. It's time to pull the right. Okay, multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision is the valley of Jehoshaphat. We're right now, everybody's making a decision who is going to do what. If you look at carefully, look at everything that's going on in the world, we had super calamity mode, and all it takes is somebody to strike that wick and that TNT blows up. And the thing about it, folks, that we're in the days of Noah. And we're Noah out here on social media in the streets. We're trying to tell everybody, oh, I don't see nothing coming. And then boom. Can you imagine that? This snatching away because everybody's in place. God said the wickedness is great right now. Everybody is, is, is ready. The snatching away, ladies and gentlemen, is going to cause the world war to pop like never before. Everybody is flexing and showing that they got nukes. Nukes, everybody wants nukes, 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 nukes. This is probably the reason why that doomsday map shows the world broke up into pieces because when them nukes go up and you already got scientists say that the earth is shifting from within, then you drop nukes. Oh my goodness, folks. Lots of people are getting ready to die. I'm gonna put it to you plain and simple. Do you have a relationship with Jesus Christ? Are you saved? Have you given your life to Christ? Have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? Do you believe that Abba the Father raised Christ on the third day, on the Trinity day? He said he came back for the sinners and he called them to repentance. God says, I'm pouring out my spirit on all flesh in these times, in the latter days. And he's calling all to repentance. All means everybody, not leaving not nothing behind. Verse 14 says, multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. That's right now. The day of the Lord will be in the clouds. It will be a judgment. It will be a judgment on the church. When he comes back in Revelation 19 and 11, it will be finality. He's not coming back on no cloud to take nobody up to heaven. He's coming back to whoop Heine to set everything straight, to destroy, utterly destroy the wicked off the planet. Then 15 says, the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall fall, shall withdraw from their shining. That's going to happen, folks, a lot of different ways, two different ways, not a lot of different ways. You got earthquakes and volcanoes. And if nukes drop everywhere, that's soot. That's could spark off volcanoes, black ash in the air. It's going to be a dark period, naturally and man-made, folks. It's getting ready to be a dark time on this earth. It says, the Lord shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Mm, mm, mm. Folks, this is the time coming. I'm on a break. 14 minutes in. Uh, just seeing that, I had to get in here and read that. I've read that before on my other channels. But the valley of decision is the meat of the conversation because when I saw that Russia is bringing ships and have been, China dropping 
weather balloons and spy missiles. We have soldiers in the guise of NATO at the coast of, at, at, at Russia's border and helping, Rus helping Ukraine fight. China is in position to take Taiwan. The earthquakes around the, the, the ring of fire are jumping off every single day. And all these folks, some of them holler in peace and safety, but listen, man, God said that they're gathered for war, but at the same time, he said, the harvest is ripe. Prepare ye the sickle. So when that harvest happens, the whole world will be shook and all of this, all of these military superpowers that are in place right now are going to think, they're not going to think it's a rapture. They're going to think it was some type of strategic war or, or, or weapon use like an EMP that, because there's true believers in every nation. And so when this event happens, it's going to shake the foundation. Shake it, shake the foundation, and that's going to cause everybody to push buttons. Just like in that scene, I can't get that scene in Terminator out of my mind because it really speaks to something true. When she sat there at that fence and saw all the nukes going up out of nowhere, and, this, and you know, it's called Judgment Day in the movie, but these movies don't think of them just about entertainment now. There's a real message in there. And the whole message was about AI taking over. And that's what we see today, AI trying to take over. Because if you look at your maps, with your wireless maps, as far as your wireless services, that AI has took over the whole world except for Russia. And that's what this dude is fighting, technocracy. It ain't about what you think and what they're telling you on the news. They have been building technocracy at his border through Ukraine for decades. That's why they'd rather go over there than go to Ohio because they got so much money invested in bio labs, technology, AI, artificial intelligence. But they want you to believe he's the bad guy because he doesn't want to fold into the new world order. If you do your real research Ukraine was a part of Russia. Democracy took it over. He had to go in there and fight. But at the same time, they never let NATO, NATO never, never let Ukraine in and they took all their nukes. They had this thing planned from Jump Street. Long time ago, they had this thing planned. But God slowed that plan down when he put the orange dude in there. Facts, no cap, facts. And they swore up and down that their girl was going to get in there. The supreme killer who, who was an attorney for some of the most dangerous gangsters in Arkansas, her and her husband. That's why everybody would come up missing if you went up against the Clintons. Okay. And they swore up and down. Oh, he's not going to win. We're going to take some of this uranium because that was their goal all along was to start a war with Putin. And we're going to set up a false one and then say he did it. And then they're going to show records that we sold him this uranium. Now that word has come back up again. Some powerful stuff. March is going to be, this month is going to be bananas. I don't know what's going to happen on March 22nd. That's God's new year. I don't know what's going to happen. But any time after that, every day is high watch day. Every day is high watch day. He's sovereign. He can do whatever he want, whenever he want. But we, if, 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 if we go by his word, which is Jesus Christ, in the second month, on the 17th day of the month, that's when the righteous went up. And they came down in the seventh month on the 17th day of the month. But God is about spring. 
Christ rose in the spring. So did the ark. It rose above tribulation in the spring. Why I keep saying this? I'm basing it off the word. Not nobody's rapture calendar guy video. Revelation 19 and 11. 19 and 11. It's 30. Russia just said they want an entire fleet by 2030. There's all other kind of things they got forecast that's going to happen in 2030. Well, minus seven from 30. What is it? 23. And all you folks, oh, we ain't got to repent. That's why I'm on y'all head so much. I'm trying to get as many people to wake up out that garbage as possible. You, I mean, because <laughs> you're not going to have no excuse when you turn yourself into, when you be, when you, when you're turned into the five dumb ones. And you looking around trying to figure out what happened. Straight up. And a lot of people just sleep in the matrix right now. It's sickening. You know, they ain't got a clue. And you try to tell them, oh. They, they too busy worried about why it's dark in the car. Oh, you know, it, it, that's not going to. Okay. I have had people cuss me out. Like they were the offspring of Richard Pryor. Because I asked them, was they saved? And do they believe? And it's, ooh, but they'd rather send me pictures. I don't serve no white Jesus. I don't serve no Christmas, none of that. You know, they're so anti. Sending me all this Africanism stuff. And all these, all this other crap that ain't got nothing to do with, with, with the salvation. Every kind of excuse in the world. Not to serve, not to repent. I'm just a. Hey. So again, it's time. Y'all better get. Y'all better get you. Uh, uh, the smoke alarm is going off. Okay. This time you can't open the door and fan it out. That's how that's how tight it is right now. That's how thick it is right now. Okay. But if you don't want to believe, that's on you. Okay. It won't be said, nobody told you. You heard it, Hosea 4, and turn the truth down. Please think about it. Please think about it, folks. Can't you hear the trumpet blowing? Woo! All right, y'all. Deuces.